guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, right here I have this beautiful, I don't know what to call it, kind of look. I did a little halo eye and I'm using a little bit of purples in there. Um, really easy, fun to do. Um, if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Hi everyone, so I'm taking the e.l.f. primer. It literally is purple. So this is the um, e.l.f. primer and this is the brightening ones. I'm taking my e.l.f. foundation now and this is the oil free SB15 um, foundation in the color caramel. So it's quite darker. So what I, I'll show you what I tend to do. Taking the Body Shop um, Lightning Drops and this will help me lighten the foundation a little bit as I found this foundation a little too dark for me. Just put at least one or two. That should be enough. Taking my Maybelline Master Stroke drops in there too just to so I just add that all over. So you just mix everything. Next I'm taking the flat brush like a that kind of kabuki brush. This one has no name, so I'm just gonna buff everything in. I'm so sorry if you hear some noise, guys. My street is very noisy. There's kids running around like a lunatic. I don't know why. They're not in school yet. You probably hear cars going off or being so noisy children outside or parents yelling at them. So now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro color corrector in the color orange. Now I know why people are not in school this weekend and Sunday. So now I'm taking my Primark blender and just blend out. Go to town with it. If you want to. I'm taking my uh, Maybelline Micro Pencil in the color Soft Brown. Let's take the spoolie side and just blend everything in. Imagine, I'm complaining about the noise in here. Like, I mean, I live in Watford and I'm complaining about the noise on my street. When I'm thinking people who film in London it's much more noisier. I should be grateful. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. I go a little heavy with my concealer because I don't want to show it. Dark circles. I'm taking my trusty finger blender, which is dirty as hell. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my LA Girl bronzer. Um, well, it's actually a concealer, but I I'm using it as my sculpting. Um, can, um, <laughs> it's actually a concealer, so I'm using it as my um, contour stick. So. Well, not stick, but you know what, you get what I mean. <laughs> it's in the color toast. I'm taking my um, Primark angle brush, I'm using this little dirty angle right here, and just blend it away. LA Girl are so affordable, they're so cheap, you can get them on Amazon. Um, I can leave the link down below for you guys to find it. They are amazing products. Or you can even go to their website. Why not think of that? It's only because I always drop an Amazon. Who here is an Amazon addict? I'm taking my collection sheer loose powder. It was like four pounds for these, I guess. I don't know. 
it's good. I'm taking my little sponge, disposable sponge here. This powder is so soft. I just oh, I'm so in love with it. My sister is the one who actually introduced me to this product. I didn't even know that collection did even exist. Actually, no, I'm, I'm lying. I actually knew they exist because I used to see their pencil concealer, not pencil concealer, more like their lipstick concealer. I don't know if I used it. I used to like swatch that before when I was a kid. I was like, I don't know what this is for. Actually, actually, I thought they were lipsticks. I used to put it all over my lips. But then there's a thing where they had concealer all over your lips, right? I'm taking my needle partners, and these are the Anyway Bronzer. Ooh, that I just said that pretty hard. <laughs> I'm taking my bron my uh, my Anyway Bronzer with my uh, sand brush that has no name. Got everything on Amazon. Give yourself a little life in that vampire look that you're going for. <laughs> Here's a question for you guys. If you were, if you would like to choose one kind of a, what's the word called vampires and werewolves? I don't know. If you had to choose one type of like a monster, what would you want to be? Me, I always wanted to be a vampire. I don't know why. I just think they're so sexy, seductive. And like, okay, fair enough, you walk around in the dark, but you can't go anywhere da through daylight and stuff. But I'd love to be a vampire. Immortal? Gosh. What would you like to be? Leave it in the comments down below. I always, this is my like question I always ask everyone, what is the best kind of monster you want to be? We have a debatable of, you know, werewolves or... Or vampires. Imagine someone came out like, I'd like to be a sea monster. That'd be quite cool actually if you were a sea monster. You get to go down in the deep, deep, deep. Oh no, I'd rather be a mermaid. No, a vampire and a mermaid. A vampire that changed into a mermaid. How cool would that be? I'm taking my other Primark flat brush. So this is not an angle one, this is just a flat head one. Put on my bronzer, like I do, it just pinch. Yeah. Now I'm taking my powder brush and brush everything off. Now I have a special guest for you guys. I'm going to use my Zoella Taupe palette. Now this is such a pretty palette. Ta-da! Absolutely beautiful. I wish I had a mirror though, so I can like, you know, do whatever. I'm taking my blending brush that has no name. I bought this from Wish as I spoke about it in my previous videos. I got links about Wish as well on there, so you can always go back to the video to find out. I'm taking the the shade Hour by Hour by Hour, which is this little nudie here, and using that as my translucent color. Transition. I'm gonna use it as my transition color. See, this whole time I've just been thinking about what the hell is that thing called? It's just thinking of translucent the whole time, but it's actually transition. Mm -hmm. Got there in the end. The next color I'm going for is the gallery color, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a halo look. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just place it out here. It's gonna do so gently, just on the outer V. Just circular motions first. 
and then drag the color upwards. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I forgot to mention what brush I was using. I'm using the Morphe B81. The cute bugger here. Now I'm taking my Morphe M506, little brush here, so ditzy. Taking the exquisite color right here. So I'll zoom you guys in a little bit and just pop through here. I'm being very light handed with this because the color is so strong. Not so strong. So pigmented. Just drag it on top. Tap it one more time and put it inside my corners. So now I'm just going to blend it. I'm taking my flat head, flat head? I don't know what they're called. I'm taking the flat brush and this one has no name again and this is from Wish. I'm going to take the color Handmade. Is it Handmade? Yes, Handmade. And put that in the middle of my lid. Ooh. I'm taking my Morphe. Is that what it looks like? I'm taking my Morphe M MB18. I'll go Galaxy first. I'm just gonna place it in my lower lashes. Smudge it out a little bit. Then I'm going back with the color Exquisite. Now I'm taking my uh, Real Techniques angle brush, going in with my gel liner, and just line my arm. I'm taking my uh, blush called Ruby. I'm taking my blush brush. Uh, it is the um, Real Techniques brush, so I call it blush brush. I'm going back with the Master Strobe from Maybelline. Taking my Primark blender. I am going back with my beautiful Primark bronzing highlight palette and I'm going to take the color Sundown right here. Gotta have that mermaid. <laughs> Taking my unique, what is this? My I call it the pencil brush, but it's actually a crease brush. So I'm taking my unique crease brush, going back into that color, top of my cute stuff. Hmm, I feel like hmm, I'll highlight my brows. I'll highlight them. So I'm going to go in with Sunbeam right here with the same brush, tap and place. I'm 
taking my e.l.f. Um, face mist and set and going to place everything through and then I'm going to do mascara. I'm a bit opposite, I know. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the small one, so. So I'm going to put my lashes, oh, she's falling off. I'm going to put my lashes on and I'll be right back. So there you have it guys, this is my finishing look, um, it's very simple, very easy to do, I hope it's very easy to do and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I had fun creating this look for you, um, I hope I can make it to work now, <laughs> since I've been like wasting time, I'm just, sorry, I was just looking into my watch and I was like, oh god, I'm wasting time, um, yeah, so thank you so much guys for stopping by and i will see you in my next video also if you do like this video please leave it a thumbs up and if you want to leave a comment please do so uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see a little bit more of me Mwah! bye everyone